Uh, is it out of control? Is there nothing we can do? Well, there's no reason to believe that. I mean, elementary reforms, like say the Tobin tax, could have a, maybe a big effect. Uh, furthermore, more globally, all of these interchanges, as I mentioned, the international economy is not more integrated by most measures than it was 100 years ago, in fact, less in many respects. And the transactions that are going on are mostly within the big three regions, United States, Japan, and Europe. Uh, now that's under political control. You know, that's not out of political control. Uh, democratic societies in the th these three areas could control this. Uh, uh, the idea that it's somehow, you know, kind of impossible to control all over the world, that's just not true. You look at the flows, they're internal to the highly developed rich societies where theoretically there are democratic governments and could impose all sorts of restrictions. Uh, furthermore, uh, all the talk about corporate greed and everything is really crucially beside the point in my point of view, I think, and should be recognized as a very big regression from what working people and a lot of others understood very well a century ago. Talk about corporate greed is nonsense. Uh, corporations are greedy by their nature. There's no such, you know, they're nothing else. They're instruments for interfering with markets to maximize profit and wealth and market control. You can't make them more or less greedy. I mean, maybe you can sort of force them. To be. It's like taking a totalitarian state and saying, be less brutal. Well, yeah, maybe you can get a, a totalitarian state to be less brutal, but that's not the point. Uh, the point is not to get a tyranny to be less brutal, but to get rid of it. Uh, now, like 150 years ago, uh, that was understood. I mean, if you read the labor press, there was a very lively labor press right around here, you know, Lowell and Lawrence and places like that around the mid-19th century, uh, run by artisans and uh, what they call factory girls, young women from farms who were working there. And they weren't asking the autocracy to be less brutal. They were saying, get rid of it. You know, they, and in fact, that makes perfect sense. These are not, these are human institutions. You know, there's nothing graven in stone about them. Uh, they're created early in this century with their present powers. Uh, they come from the same intellectual roots as the other modern forms of totalitarianism, namely Stalinism and fascism, and they have no more legitimacy than they do. Uh, so it's not a, I mean, yeah, let's try and make them, make the autocracy less brutal if that's the short term possibility, but we should have the sophistication of, say, factory girls in Lowell 150 years ago and recognize that this is just degrading and intolerable and that, uh, as they put it, uh, those who work in the mills should own them and on to everything else, and that's democracy. You don't have, that, you don't have democracy.